Hey guys, it's us again, back to our Roots Homestead. Hope everybody's having a great day, great evening. Um, today, we are going to be making our parsley flakes. We harvested the parsley, and now it's time to make the flakes, so come along. Used to the city, now we got our own land. Life's getting real busy, busy. None of it was ever planned. Got the crib looking pretty, pretty. With a garden full of plants. plants. And we built our own committee, yeah. From the bottom we advanced, yeah. Back to our roots, roots. now we get back to our roots, yeah. Put on your boots, Put on. it's time to go take off your suit. Back to our roots, yeah. Now we get back to our roots, yeah. Put on your boots, it's time to farm with Cheryl Swoops right now, right now, yeah, yeah, right now. All right guys, so I'm going to show you the different parsleys that we have, but before I do that, in case anybody's wondering, yes, I do have the same clothes on. We're shooting a couple of videos all on the same day. That's why I have the same outfit on. Um, I don't usually do this. I don't want anybody out there saying, ooh, she got the same clothes on anyway. <laughs> um, but that's why I have the same clothes on. So let me start with this is our flathead parsley and it's look how fluffy that is so this one we've already um cut the stems off and this one is really ready to go to the dehydrator but i wanted to just show you guys look it's so nice and fluffy and of Smith. course it smells good yeah it smells really it does good. smell good almost makes you want to just take a bite <laughs> you want to taste it no, no? So this is a flathead and we've, like I said, we've already cut this off of the stem. And I started with, so I think this is a mixture of curly parsley, you guys. And um, remember, we couldn't remember what the name of the other one was. But I know it's three type of parsley, uh, flathead, curly, and it's one more. Miss Linda had um, given us the names. I just, I just forgot. I can't. Right and this is fluffy also but what I want to do just briefly before we um, put it in the, the, the dehydrator I want to just show you guys how I do it which right wrong I don't know it works for me I actually take my scissors and I take kitchen scissors not just any regular scissors that you find around the house. Because I will. Because I had to tell husband the other day, I said, baby, those are scissors that you work with around here, not cooking. Mm. These are cooking scissors. <laughs> and I just kind of take them. They cut, though. And <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know they cut. <laughs> so you don't really want a lot of the stem, right? Because when you dehydrate it and put it in the food processor and chop it up, you don't want all the stem in. Um, this is, to me, this is the tedious part. And especially when you have this much to do. Yeah. But, but it's a good time to harvest it because it's cold outside and we can't go outside. Yeah, so. I'm not going to be outside anyway. So <laughs> that's a good excuse. So, but I will tell you guys, don't yell at me. Look, I'm going to just show you something real quick. So, because when I get, <laughs> when I get tired and I just want to be done with it, I'm going to show you this because I didn't show my husband, so he might get mad. I just took my scissors and started cutting like that <laughs> and got some of the stem off and then that's it. So, as you guys can see, I have to finish this bowl. And some of this, this is really good. You know what, I'm gonna just pour it out here so you guys can see all of this parsley that we gotta do. Yep. So, I'm gonna finish cutting the parsley off the stem and then we're gonna take it to the dehydrator. So, after we finish this, we'll show you the next step. So come back. All right guys, so we finally finished um, cutting the parsley off the stems and now we are going to place them in the dehydrator so um, just in case anybody's wondering we actually put some parchment paper on um, the rack because I'm gonna hold it up so you can see this rack actually has like little slits in it so we didn't want it to fall through so we just placed some parchment paper and I've already placed two of them in 
but now I'm going to place this one in. You think I should bring it down or that's good? Mm, you can put the other one underneath it if you need. And we have four racks, so put the other one. And again. And I think this thing holds six, six or eight yeah. racks. Yeah, six or eight. We have um three different types of parsley. So I'm going to place this one here. And voila. So by the time we wake up in the morning, it should be ready. I'm going to put this on um, or at 95 degrees for eight hours. Let me see. Man, look how good I am. <laughs> and we're gonna go, oh wait, sorry y'all. 95 degrees for eight hours. And start. So in the morning, they should be ready and then we will place them in the food processor crunch them up, chop them up, and we'll have some homemade parsley flakes. So we will show you guys um, the next step after we take them out of the dehydrator. See you in the morning, guys. Too cold for Texas. Back to the parsley. All right, guys, so the parsley is finished. We actually ended up having to add, what do we do, about another two hours? Yeah, I think the temperature should be around 120, and I think you should do about 12 hours, 12 or 13 yeah, hours. Yeah, and I think we initially did like seven, seven, seven hours, I think it was but seven. 95 yeah. degrees or something like that. Yeah. So, um, definitely temperature around 120 in maybe nine hours. Well, and also I think because we had a lot and it was stacked on top, so I think yeah. if you had less kale, it might take, I mean, uh, I mean, less parsley. I think it might take a little less time, but we had a, a lot and it was stacked kind of yeah. on top of each other. So, so I guess um, in other words, just kind of experiment with it a little bit. Yeah. Um, I mean, cause you can't really hurt it. Right. Um, you're not going to burn it or anything like that, but this is the finished product. So what we did, we took one tray out. I'm just going to show you guys this before I put it, I'm going to put this into my food processor. But just to show you guys that it's ready, I'm gonna do that so you guys can see that. You can hear it, good old crunch. Mm -hmm. So, um, what I'm going to do is take this, and I'm really experimenting right now. Um, I like the fact that we put it on this parchment paper though because it may actually help me a little bit. Well, that was creative. I try to be sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's why I said I'm glad you put it on the parchment paper. That helps a little bit. Well, in our racks, you can see they're they're yeah. like they're like great. So yeah, if um, they'll slide through there, that's why I said put the parchment. So and there's still a little bit on there, but what I'm gonna do is put that in there. That look like some more green stuff. I know. <gasps> Chris. No, nah, I don't do it. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I know it doesn't smell like it, but anyway. Um, so here we go. We're gonna put it in the food processor mm -hmm. and let it roll. And again, you can hold it down. I guess you can kind of chop it as fine as you want it, but I want it to be parsley flakes that I can use when I cook. So. Let's take a look. Let's see. That looks pretty good. Guys, and this is like I've actually spent money at the grocery store. Man, it smells this. so good. Wow. It does. This is fresh parsley. Look at that. Wow. And actually, I'm pretty good with that. I don't think I want to chop it anymore. Um, looks really good to me. So, what I'm going to do until I can order something smaller or different, 
I had actually ordered these plastic jars from Amazon. Um, here, I'll show you how many came in the package. I ordered these for our pickles that we make. But you, you need to stay off my Amazon. You need to go to Family Dollar. <laughs> off of his Amazon account, yeah, by yeah, the way. <laughs> yeah, it's because he, you know. Whatever. You got to stay with Miss Miss Renee and Miss Linda on your. I do. I do everything. <laughs> Uh, but these are the plastic containers, guys, that I ordered off of Amazon. There's, I don't know how many are, 20 or so. Um, I had ordered them for our pickles, which I'll still use. But for now, since I don't have anything smaller, I am going to just take this. And I got a spoon just in case, but see, that's why I brought a spoon. guys an idea of what that will look like. I didn't make too much of a mess. Voila! Some homemade parsley. It smells a lot better than the stuff it in smells the, really, that really, you get from really, the store. Really good. <laughs> and guys just on another note, um, it's cold outside so it's a great day to be inside creating something i'm gonna look at some recipes and i don't know figure out what i want to do today but besides rest and relax yeah we're not built for this world not in texas <laughs> well not in houston here no. anyway and i want to show you guys i know we're talking about parsley but show them socks let them see what socks is doing because it's cold for socks to socks too <laughs> look i'll see socks is in front of the fireplace hi bud Socks. Socks. Yeah. Yeah, he's just chilling in front of the fireplace. <laughs> Socks that he ain't got time for us today. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is um, finish the parsley off. I'm going to put them in, I don't know, I might only need a couple of these cups. So, we have four trays in here, three left to do. And um, when I'm done with them, I'll come back and show you guys how many, I think probably two, maybe three, but I'll come back and show you guys the finished product. I got us some flowers too, guys, for Valentine's <laughs> Day. <laughs> All right, guys, so finish that up. And let me, I don't know if you guys can see the difference. This was the um, curly parsley, so we tried to separate them. I'm sure they'll taste the same. And this is the flathead parsley, but even if you look at the flakes, you can see these flakes are a little bit bigger. Dang. And I um, put them in the food processor around the same time, right? I used that food processor for both of them. What were you gonna say? They smell, they both smell really, really good. They do, the, the flathead parsley for some reason smells like it has lemon in it. Maybe it does, I don't know. But if you compare it to, this is store-bought parsley. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that. But look at this. And this one is healthier and probably tastes better. It's so crazy, guys, because usually when I buy parsley from the store and I smell it, I don't notice the smell, really. But after doing the two we grew in the garden, and I smell these two that we grew versus the one I bought in the store, this one actually don't smell too good. <laughs> <laughs> the one from the store got a little stank to it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is, this is a finished product. And I'm just gonna take the top off so you guys can see inside if you wanna see inside. Look, so there you can see the difference. God, that smells so good. It smells so fresh. Mm -hmm. So fresh and so clean, clean. Yep. Mm, smells delicious. And again, I just used my little, I don't even know, this little $10 food processor that I got from Walmart, actually. And I've had it for a while. So. The mini one. It is the mini one. You have a big one, great. too. But it's the, it's yeah, the but this is great for stuff like that. And the cleanup is super, super, super simple. Super easy. So, I'm just going to set that there. I'll clean this up later. Just wanted to show you guys this is the finished product with the parsley and um i heard him say at the end while ago that he got me some flowers for valentine's day he yep be yep me something <laughs> i'm sure somebody put a little bug in his ear and said oh, it's valentine's day coming up mm. um anyway they're really beautiful though thank you baby thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you they are they're super beautiful yeah and if you guys notice and as high as they are next year i'm gonna grow them <laughs> 
<laughs> if we can keep the cat out of them. <laughs> Stupid. Um, but guys, it is 34 degrees outside. It's super cold. We're just gonna hang out in the house today um, and tomorrow. But to everybody out there, especially my sisters, happy Valentine's Day early. Um, so we were just gonna have a little drink, a little toast. So I'll just do this to you. Y'all see what he pulled out? What yeah, he was drinking? Yeah, gotta have a Remy. 1738. And this is what I have to keep him from trying to put in socks bowl. You guys, remember <laughs> y'all heard him say he was gonna give him uh, some Hennessy, but instead it's 1738 and he has his cigar out in his drink but anyway cheers to everybody out there and um hope everybody is having a great day please stay safe i know the weather is going to get really bad in a lot of places so everybody be careful on the roads if you're on the roads but like always thank you so much for the support for subscribing for watching our channel for telling other people about our channel we greatly appreciate you so please make sure you stay safe stay blessed and stay healthy. We'll see you next time on Back to Our Roots Homestead. See you on the other side, guys. Yeah, right now, right now. Yeah, yeah. Back to our roots, back to our roots. Back to our roots.